Welcome to another episode of me complaining about cell phones from five to 25 minutes. I'm your host, Luke. So I've actually gotten a lot of questions over the years. Why do I not do more videos on uh, cell phones? Because I do tutorials on Linux and, and uh, you know, shell scripting and all these kind of things, very obscure programs sometimes. So a lot of people ask, why don't you do more videos on cell phones? Now, um, the reason is, I'm gonna explain why, but it amounts to I am extremely frustrated by the very idea of cell phones and how they work technologically. Now, of, of course, I do videos very often, you know, as I, as I sort of make fun of it. Uh, I do videos a lot complaining about p how people use cell phones. They use them too much. They're annoying socially, stuff like that. I'm not going to be talking about that in this video. I'm going to be talking about the narrow technological aspects, okay? Now, the reason I, I bring this up, I should say, you may be actually be able to tell, okay, the lighting is a little different. It's a little more vivid back here. Actually, everything back there is blurred. I actually got a new cell phone. That That's why things look a little bit different. Um, and uh, it's not it's not by choice. I had to get a new one for a new carrier. I think this actually looks nice I, I, I like the way it sort of looks now. It was only 50 bucks after a rebate So I, I'm very glad about that. Uh, I wouldn't have gotten a cell phone by choice, but um, uh, So when I got this phone I went through something I've done before in the past I, I'm glad I was successful, but I went through the rigmarole of taking that cell phone and making sure that I could root it and I could get rid of all the Google junk and install a free software operating system. I installed Lineage OS. I have root access on it. Um, so that, you know, that's what I run on this phone and I have all the applications, you know, the, the few applications that I actually need on a phone and I've deleted all the other junk that comes on it. Now, let me give you my perspective that informs my view on cell phones. The fact is, what determines whether you own a computer or not? If you ask me, it has to be if you have administrative access, exclusive administrative access. If you can go on a, onto a computer and install and uninstall what you want, delete what files you want, sometimes even break your machine in the way that you want, that means that you have, you are in control of that device. If you can't do that stuff, but someone else can, that means you are not in control, okay? Now, when even when it comes to Microsoft Windows 10, you still can have control of your device because you still have administrative access, okay, when you install Windows. You don't often know what programs are running. They're running some proprietary stuff, but you can still delete stuff. You can randomly delete files and, and programs and stuff like that. You still have that right, okay? Um, whereas on phones, for historical reasons, that is not the case. When you get a phone, it is a, it, it's like a jailed environment for the user. The user does not have root access, and it's not just no one has root access, it's that Google installs a bunch of applications that we don't even know what they're doing on a phone, and they are constantly pinging Google, they're constantly doing bad things, and in effect, Google has administrative access to your phone, and you don't. So, you know, when I, when I look at most phones that are like this, when you just get a phone, that's not really your phone, that's really Google's phone. That's Google's phone, it's... Uh, you keep it in your pocket and it radiates your testicles all day because it is constantly pinging your location and data to Google. Okay, that's what a cell phone does. It is their device. It's their monitoring device. You might get some good stuff out of having that monitoring device, but you ultimately don't have the rights to decide what's going on. I know that they give you this little environment where you can disable an application, uh, but the issue is when it's proprietary software, you have no idea. It's like Windows 10's fake switches. Oh, uninstall this. That It's fake. It's, it's just to make you feel good about yourself. Okay? So for me, um, the bare minimum in terms of cell phones is a cell phone where you have root access. You can install and uninstall whatever you want. You can monitor what's going on on your uh, cell phone. And specifically, you don't have anything too malicious, like, no, you know, no kind of Google stuff. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not some kind of uh, uh, person who says, oh, well, you just can't have anything Google related. If you need something for work, I'm not going to counter signal that. Uh, but of course, I, you know, on my phone, I have nothing Google related. I have only F Droid and F Droid applications, a couple other things, but it's all, all free software. Okay, that's what I have. Um, now, here is the big annoyance. You cannot easily, well, firstly, you don't have root access on a phone you just buy. That, that's the first obvious thing. Um, and phone manufacturers, 
uh, software designers, uh, carriers, they all conspire to make it difficult for you to actually have control over your phone. Now you, of course, people will have, bring up this cope, oh well, it's for your own good, you might get your phone stolen, but that, you know, that's the case in laptops as well, frankly. Um, so it's, I don't really find that a good justification. But uh, carriers and, and software designers and all these people will conspire to make it difficult. So just as an example, when I got this phone, okay, um, uh, well, firstly, I order. I actually originally ordered a different phone, and then when it was like shipping on the way, I learned, oh, it doesn't actually work with Lineage OS, and uh, or at least you know it was just a moderner version of the phone I have now. There's no build with Lineage OS. It can't do this or that. You know, running on free software. So I was like, oh shoot, I got to send that back. So I got this one. I'm actually glad I did because this one was cheaper. Um, so again, 50 bucks with rebate. Um, so I got this phone, and then I realized, like, oh, there are all these other tools that, you know, due to the way that all of this stuff is developed, like, you have to realize, to get root on a device, you basically have to hack your own device. You basically have to uh, unlock the bootloader and do some funky stuff with some funky random program that you found on GitHub, or some Pajits on XDA uh, recommended you to use, um, that's, like, literally written by some guy named Pajit. Um, and, you, you know, you basically hack into your own device. That's the absurdity of, self, like, in order to have administrative access, you have to hack into it. And the thing about that is uh, there, are co there are constantly new software patches every couple of months that make it more and more difficult that, like, d you know, get rid of the old ways that you could do things. And that's why, I want, well, I'll go ahead and say one of the reasons I don't do videos on this kind of stuff is, first off, in order to actually do videos on how do you root this phone, I'd have to actually buy a whole bunch of phones and stuff like that, which would be, uh, uh, we're not, we're not consumers here. Um, so I'm obviously not going to do, do that, but also... Uh, if you look at videos of people doing tutorials on that, you'll see a bunch of dislikes. Because what happens is, and you know, I'm not saying their videos are bad, but the reason they get dislikes is uh, some new Android uh, release uh, patches whatever little hack they were using before, and now it doesn't work. So now people can't do that, or everything is different depending on your carrier, depending on your uh, uh, specific model. The, the model of phone I used to have uh, could not be root. Well, the international version could be rooted, but not the US version, right? So I got, so, oh, finally, I can root this phone. That's what the internet says. And then I looked at, oh, wait, it, it can't be the US version, okay? Those are little, like, they're just like a million little details that conspire to make it difficult for you. And just in the past couple of days, when I was just trying to get things working on this phone, I constantly ran into this or that that uh, wasn't going to work or, or couldn't work on a very specific model of phone. And this is what everyone has to do just to do the bare minimum. So that one of the reasons, like this is why oftentimes, and I, I think this is justifiable, frankly, because uh, you know things are so bad when it comes to cell phones, I, my reflex is to throw up my hands in defeat and say, you know what, I really don't need a cell phone for this. And I think that's honestly a probably even more healthy thing to say. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna yammer about why I don't think people should use cell phones. Um, but, uh, you know, a lot of times, like, you know, people who use cell phones to like, uh, uh, you know, take notes and talk to friends and stuff uh, and other things that, you know, just you could do with, uh, I, don't, I don't know, you don't need the complex technology to do, that, do all that kind of stuff. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but, uh, Either way, uh, I just find the entire experience extremely frustra frustrating. Everything on a phone is, is it's, it's like this nightmare world. It's this nightmare environment. It's like some kind of, and, and I mean literally a nightmare. It's like a nightmare where you can't accomplish what you want. There's always something that gets in your way. That's the experience. It's, it's like a David Lynch film. It's like as bad as a David Lynch film where like... Uh, Oh wow, that's actually really bad. It's like there's you know one time I had this uh, ex-girlfriend of mine. She made me watch Mulholland Drive. I like immediately wanted to break up with her. It was just wow. This is like it's not even it's not even like a bad movie. It just frustrates you. It just makes this is so stupid. Why why are people pretending to like this? Uh, and I sort of feel the same way about uh, cell phones. You know, it's just one of those things where uh, nothing. There's just nothing but frustration for me. And um, well, I'm glad now, and I will say, I'm glad, I, this phone I have right now, I'm actually very happy about it. I might even carry around, carry it around with me sometimes, okay? Because I, it's rooted, it feels like my device, I can install what I want, I uninstalled all the stupid uh, default ROMs. Oh, it, it, let me actually complain about one other thing that, that just sort of annoys me, okay? I said that there are all these people 
there's this community of people who are constantly uh you know talking about you know flashing roms and you know customizing their phone and stuff like that and the strangest thing in the world for me for me you know the obvious reason you want to do any of that is because you want to get rid of all the google spyware you want to be in control of your device but there are a lot of people who are in this like rom making community uh you know who do it like go through this rigmarole of you know uh just all this kind of stuff for fun like they they want to i just want a custom rom that looks cool you know and that is like the opposite of what i am like i'm just like wh why why would you make a custom rom that just pulls all this google stuff anyway like wh what is the point if you want a a unified google experience just use what the cell phone looks like when you buy it Okay, if you don't care about privacy, th that works perfectly. Okay, who cares if you want your apps to look a little bit different? I, I don't know, maybe there, there's probably Redditors, you know, Redditors who just like want to post uh, whatever the equivalent of Unix porn is for uh, 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 Android. That, that's what I think it is. So it's, it's very confusing. Like, I don't, re I, look, I look at those people and I don't necessarily see allies in their mindset because most of them are just interested in phones for, phones are cool, which is the opposite. Like, I, I look at phones as big as impediments, as things that are constantly in my way, things that are constantly annoying me. I just want a, a functional phone. And, you know, it, and there are a lot of companies out there. I know you can post them in the comments because I know you will, uh, who, that try and make free software phones. But, you know, the thing about those is like they cost a thousand dollars or seven hundred dollars or something like that. And, uh, you know, OK, I'll, I'll I'll go through two days of frustration trying to figure out how to do it, do it, you know, install free software myself on my phone if I can. But um, it, yeah, it just drives me nuts. I don't honestly, um, I think that was all I was going to say. I actually do. I sort of want to sit around here and look at the colors. I, I, I don't know if these colors are actually going to show up on the recording. I don't know if it's like just my screen. It just looks nice. I, I don't know. I like the way it looks. You know, that's why I haven't, I wasn't like running around this video. I was just sort of enjoying the way it looks. Um, it honestly sort of looks how it looks in real life. Uh, my last camera, okay, the, the content of the video is over. I'm just going to talk now about something irrelevant. But the last camera I had, you probably noticed whenever I was in the sun like this, it just made my, my, my face like perfectly white, okay? Like it had really bad exposure or something like that. Uh, this doesn't seem to be, it's a big, it's, I should just like wear a wig in videos or something like that. Maybe that uh, would make things easier. Maybe I should, I should just wear a hat. You know, it's just because if you have that much of the same color that's light, it's just a big problem. But anyway, this cell phone does it better. So, all right, that's it.